Hi, in this video, we're going to find this limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero of one minus e to the three x squared over x times the sine of two x. So the first thing you should always try to do when evaluating limits is take this number and plug it in and see what happens. So if we do that, in this case, we get one minus e, and then this is a zero, so we get e to the zero over zero times the sine of two times zero, so just zero. So we end up with one minus one over zero, so zero over zero. So this is called an indeterminate form. And so whenever you have an indeterminate form, such as zero over zero, or infinity over infinity, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that when you have this, you simply take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So let's do that. So this is the limit as x approaches zero. All right, so we're gonna take the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of one is zero. And then for the derivative here, we're going to use the chain rule. Recall that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this will be e to the three x squared times the derivative of the inside. So that's going to be six x via the power rule, right? You multiply the two and the three and you subtract one from the exponent. Again, the derivative of one is zero. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside untouched, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. Two times three is six, and you subtract one, and so you get a one here. So that's the chain rule. Over, here we have a product. We have x times the sine of two x. So recall the product rule says if you have a function f and a function g, and they're being multiplied to find the derivative, Think of f as your first function and g as your second function, and it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So in this case, this is your f and this is your g. So it's the derivative of the first, which is one, times the second, so sine two x, plus the first times the derivative of the sine of two x. And that's going to involve a chain rule because we have a 2x in there. So you take the derivative of the outside, so you get cosine 2x, leave the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside, which is simply 2. Wow, that was a lot. Let's just go ahead and write it again. Limit as x approaches 0 of minus 6x e to the 3x squared. All over, here we have sine 2x plus 2x cosine 2x, so 2x cosine 2x, beautiful. And now again, we have to ask ourselves, can we plug in zero? Well, when you plug in zero, you get zero up top because there's a zero here. And then sine of zero is zero, and then there's an x here, so you get zero. So zero plus zero is zero. So once again, we have this indeterminate form. So we can use L'Hopital's rule once again. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna come over here because it's gonna get crazy. So this is the limit as x approaches zero. So here we'll use the product rule and the chain rule. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So the derivative of the first is negative six times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is simply e to the three x squared times the derivative of the inside, which is six x. Let's check that. So the derivative of the first is negative six times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which again, it's going to be the chain rule. So we end up with that. On the bottom, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is cosine two x times two. The two comes from the derivative of the inside, which is the chain rule. And here we have a product rule. So it'll be plus, that's this plus here. And this is the first, this is the second. So the derivative of the first times the second factor plus the first times the derivative of the second factor. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is parentheses negative sine two x times the derivative of the inside, which is two, wow. And so at this point, I believe we can plug in zero because when we do that, 
um, it's not going to be zero on the bottom, right? Because this piece will be zero, but cosine of zero is one, so this is going to be okay. So this is equal to, now we drop the limit sign. Plugging in zero here, we get negative six, e to the zero. All of this is going to be zero because there's an x over here it's going to be 2 times the cosine of 0, so 2 times 1, because the cosine of 0 is 1, plus same thing here, 2 times 1, and all of this is 0 because there's, there's an x here, that's going to be 0, so plus 0. So this is equal to, e to the 0 is 1, so this is negative 6, over 2 plus 2 is 4, so this is equal to uh, negative 3 over 2, and that should be the final answer.